Hi, and welcome back to Chair Yoga. So it turns out that the space that I'm renting to teach every Wednesday has the world's worst Wi-Fi. And so it has really created a weird problem with recording the Zoom classes because most of the time Zoom isn't working. So thank you for bearing with me as I'm navigating this and figuring this out. Um, I will keep sending you the videos every week. I'm just going to film them separately and uh, get myself a little bit more organized. <laughs> so we're going to start today in the chair, as always, grounding the feet into the floor. Whew, start to feel where your feet are connecting with the floor beneath you. And if you're using blocks underneath your feet, that's fine too. And just maybe pull the shoulders all the way up to the ears, scrunch them up and let them drop. Let's do that again. Pull them all the way up and drop. One more time. This is just signaling to the body it's time to release and relax. And there we go. So hands can rest on the lap, palms down or palms up. And then either taking the soft gaze to the floor in front of you or if you feel safe and comfortable, close your eyes completely. Maybe taking a couple of grounding breaths here, breathing deeply in through the nose, exhaling out the mouth. Inhale through the nose. And then exhale out the mouth. And just continue with your own natural cycle breath here. Lips are together, the teeth are not. Allowing the breath to find its own natural rhythm. And just taking a moment to scan the body from head to toe, seeing where you might still be holding on to anything, where you might be gripping or storing tension. And this is only just to bring awareness, no judgment, no need to try to fix anything right now, but just awareness. Being aware of where your feet are connecting to the floor, where your sits bones are connecting to the chair, where your hands are making the connection to your body. Taking a moment here to set an intention for the practice. So whatever goal you might have in mind, visualize that in your mind's eye here. And then maybe you don't have a goal that's resonating with you today. Maybe dedicating your own practice to someone or something that needs a little extra love or forgiveness, or maybe some peace. And visualizing either that intention or dedication in your mind's eye, let the hands float up to heart center, prayer position, bow the head slightly deeper where we seal that intention with ourselves. Namaste. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, whatever time of the day it is that you're coming to this video. Let's just let the hands float to uh, rest on the lap, pull those shoulders back up to the ears again. And then we're going to send the shoulders back and slide the shoulders down towards the floor. Coming forward, rounding the upper back, bring them up to the ears, pushing them back down to the floor and rounding forward one more time like this, a little bit more fluid, ears back, down, forward, rounding. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, let the hands float back down by your side. Inhale, reach the hands up. This time, take your gaze upwards. Exhale, hands to your side, chin to the chest. Two more like this. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, releasing back down. Inhale, lifting up, take your gaze up, and this time on the exhale, bring the head 
back into forward neutral. Bring the hands out to the side, flex the fingertips back towards the body. Let's make some little circles here with the arms. Make it into the shoulders a little bit here. And now point the fingers down and go the opposite direction. Circles. I can't remember which way it went. See if you can try to figure that out. And flex the arms around in circles. All right, take a big breath, pull the back of the hands back. And on the exhale, give yourself a big hug. Wrap your arms here, embracing yourself. I'm gonna just take uh, just a gentle twist right here like this for now. And now take the twist over to the left. Take your gaze out over your right shoulder. Inhale, come back up into center. And exhale, go the other way. Elbows go to one side, gaze goes to the left. Let's do this two more times at each side. Twist it to the left, look to the right. And twist to the right, look left. And last one each side. Perfect. Come back up into forward facing. Let's take the arms up overhead and shake out of the wrist. Now let's take it over to the side, down towards the floor, back over to the side, and up. And now let's do a circle the other way. Shake it out and down and over and up. Perfect. Reach those fingertips up towards the sky. Pull the shoulders down away from the ears. Shoulder blades coming towards each other in the back body. Ground the feet into the floor. Pull the belly in. This is our volcano pose. So take a big breath here. And exhale, release the hands down. Bring some attention down to the feet and the floor. I'll make sure you can see my feet. I'm gonna switch back. Ta-da. <laughs> and then pressing all the four corners of the feet into the floor. So if you feel yourself pushing outwards or inwards, maybe even experiment here a little bit, and then pressing the feet in, let's lift all the toes. Lift and spread. And if it's in your practice, push just the big toe down to the floor. Lift the other toes, keep the other toes lifted. And then lift all those toes and push down just the pinky toe. Or no, push down all the toes, just keep the big toe lifted. Sorry, my brain. <laughs> and now lift all the toes again, and this time pressing the big toe and the little toe into the floor. If you need to bend over and um, push it down with your fingers, or you can even maybe even use a block to help anchor the big toe down. It's just waking up those muscles in the bottom of the feet and then go ahead and stomp it out. All right, very nice, very nice, very nice. Well, let's reach the arms upward and we're gonna climb the rope. As if there was a big rope, like flashbacks to junior high, we're having to climb the rope in the gym. Take it nice and slow so you can feel the stretch on each side, feel the lengthening in the arms. And we're gonna go from climbing the rope to climbing the rock. So we're going to lift the right hand, right knee, and then lift the left hand, left knee, climbing it up. Reaching, starting to activate the belly here. One more time, each side like this, right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee, and now we're going to get a little fancy. Let's reach the right arm up, send the left leg out. And then march this way. Left hand up, right leg out. And just kind of do this slow motion march here. One more time each side like this, opposite sides. Now, keep that right foot extended, left hand, and let's reach forward with the left hand. See if we can bring the foot and the hand closer towards each other, and lower, lower that heel. Staying with this side, lift, and lower, lift, 
Sur moi. Sur moi. Tête. La main. La lift. And lower, switch sides. We'll reach the right arm up, send the left leg out long. Inhale, towards each other. And open. So check with the spine. If you're doing a big rounding to compensate, try to keep the back long. And maybe not lift the foot as high. I lost count. So we can do two more. Hopefully we're not off balance. I think we might be okay. And lift. All right. Release. Roll those shoulders again. Because immediately tension will start to build up in the shoulders and the neck. And you want to keep it as loose as possible. Let's tick-tock from side to side, bending at the hips. Trying to keep the back towards straight. You might feel a little sensation on the outer hips. All right, come back in the center. Inhale, open up those arms big and wide. And on the exhale, find your variation of equal arms. It doesn't matter which arm comes on top, your choice. So you can start with a hug. You can have the back of the hands. You can wrap the hands around and whatever, if that fits in your arms, if you can do the wrap the arms, twist the arms for eagle. Inhale, lift the elbows. And on the exhale, curl up into a ball. Inhale, lifting. And exhale, rounding. One more time on this side. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round up the next inhale. We're going to open up the arms big and wide again. And then find your eagle pose, eagle arms variation on the other side. Lift the elbows. Exhale, round it out. Two more. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. And last one. Inhale, lift. And exhale, round. Let's release the arms and shake, 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 shake. Let's drop the right ear to the right shoulder. And drop the chin down to the chest. <clears throat> Left ear, left shoulder. And chin back down to the chest and just rock it from side to side. Ear to shoulder, ear to shoulder, back and forth. Stretching out the neck. If a full neck circle feels safe and comfortable to you, take it nice and slow so that you're nice and aware. You can experiment, be curious about that full head circle, or stay with the half circles, or something in between, reverse directions if you're doing a full circle. And one more time, and bring it back up into center. Let's press those feet into the floor. Inhale, reach the arms up. And on the exhale, forward fold, hands come down to the knees, belly comes to the thighs. Lift halfway on the inhale. And exhale, fold. Reach the arms out and up, come back up to seated. Palms come together. Exhale, hands to heart center. Let's do two more just like that, and then we'll add on. Inhale, reaching up. Exhale, forward fold. Lift halfway on the inhale. Exhale, fold. Reaching the arms out and up. Coming back up to seated. Palms come together. Hands come to rest. Last one, just like this, before we start to change things out a little bit. Exhale, forward, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. All right. With the next inhale, lift halfway, but bring the elbows to the ribs, the hands underneath the shoulders. Stay here for another breath. And then exhale, fold all the way down again. Let's bring the left elbow to the left knee. We're gonna reach the right arm out to the side. Take your gaze out over to the right. 
and exhale, release. Let's do that four more times. With the right hand, inhale, lift up, look over to the right. Exhale, release. Inhale, lifting. Exhale, lowering. Inhale, lift. And release. Last one here. Inhale, lift. And exhale, release. Bring that right uh, forearm to the right thigh, or to the right knee. Yeah. And then inhale, lift the left hand. Exhale, release. Inhale, lift. Release. Three more. A little twist here. And then release. Lift. And release once more. Lift. And release. Bring those hands, both hands to the knees. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, fold. Reverse swan dive. Reach the arms out and out. Come back up to seated. Palms come together. Exhale. Hands to heart center. Let's grasp the hands here. Let's make a little fist here and let's draw some circles with the wrists. Around and round. And go the other way down. Perfect. Once you release the hands, bring them to the lap. Oh, and just come into a few breaths. Take the gaze down towards the floor. Feel yourself grounding in, and let's take about five deep breaths here. Eyes open or closed, whichever serves you best. One last breath here. And then let the eyes come back open. Press the feet into the floor. Pull the elbows into the ribs. Pull the palms up. So try to relax the shoulders. It's going to feel instinctual to pull those shoulders up. We're going to try to keep them relaxed. Inhale, open the hands back. Take the thumbs back a little bit more. On the exhale, pull the right hand in. Inhale, open. Exhale, left hand comes in. Inhale, open. Exhale, both hands. And this time on the inhale, open up the hands wide. On the exhale, palms down, cross out in front of you. Doesn't matter which hand's on top. Inhale, open, palms up. Exhale, cross the hands, palms down. Inhale, pull the elbows in again. We'll repeat this. Inhale, open. Exhale, right hand in. Inhale, open. Pull that thumb back. Exhale, left hand. Inhale, open. Exhale, both hands come in. With the inhale, they're both going to come out. Exhale, turn the palms down, cross. Inhale, out. Exhale, cross. Inhale, open, pull those elbows in. Exhale, right hand. Last time, inhale, open. Exhale, left hand. Inhale, open. Exhale, both hands. Inhale, out. Exhale, palms down, cross. Inhale, out, palms up. Exhale, palms down, cross. Very nice. Let's just bring the hands down and just sway them from front to back here. All right, we're going to take our um, blast off. Let's get some standing things going here. And as always, if standing isn't in your practice today, uh, with the blast offs, you can press the feet into the floor, reach the arms up, extend the back, and as if we were going to stand up in the chair. So, that's fine too. I'm going to scooch back just a little bit so that I'm definitely in camera view. I'm really sorry. I've got camera view issues today. We should be good. Keep it real. I could try to make it super perfect, but that wouldn't be me. That wouldn't be authentic. So 
Thanks for the grace. Let's press the feet into the floor. Let's do 14 blast offs. But if four is what's in your practice today, or eight, or 10, stop at the number that feels good to you. Take it nice and slow. You start to feel dizzy. Sit down, take a break. You can do some where we're still seated, or you can keep up and down, whichever you like. All right? Take it nice and slow. Inhale. And exhale. I'm going to try to keep counting here. mindful of your breath and try not to just um, collapse in the chair, right? We want to keep it steady and strong. We're almost there. We're over halfway. Four more. There goes the blanket. Last one, stay standing. Or if you were sitting, see if you can come up to the standing for a little bit of this supported standing practice. I'm gonna turn my chair sideways so you can see me better. Uh -oh. This is my electrical issues these days. <laughs> Did you see all the power just went up for a second? What is happening? Let's bring the hands to the back of the chair. I hope you're laughing with me here, okay? <laughs> bring the hands to the back of the chair. Let's step backwards. Find your down dog. Ears come down between the biceps. Knees can be bent as much as you like. Send that tailbone out towards the wall behind you. Feel the stretch in the arms and the shoulders and the upper back. Feel the breath moving in and out of the back body here. Three more breaths just like this. With that inhale, step the left foot forward. We're gonna come into a pyramid pose here. So the legs are towards straight without, um, you know, don't make them too far apart. Try to square up the hips. So if you feel like one hip is pulling back more, see if you can get them nice and center. Take a big inhale and exhale, bend into the knee. Inhale, straighten. Look at this pyramid uh, legs to a warrior one here. Let's just do this two more times. And let's hold in warrior one. So bending the left knee, stack knee on top of the ankle, and let's push away. One arm can reach up, stay here. If balance is an issue for you today, if you want to let go and let the other arm float up, that's completely up to you. If holding on to the chair just feels safer, stay there. Two more breaths. All right, bring both hands down to the chair, front leg towards straight again, hinge at the hips. Maybe the hands walk down to the seat. You can rest the forehead on the chair. Maybe push the left hip back, right hip forward. You might even feel yourself being able to deepen here just a little bit. We'll take two more breaths in here, mid pose. With the next inhale, keep the legs just where they are. Bring the hands up to the back of the chair. We're going to do some push-ups, okay? So keep those hips nice and steady. Take a big breath. And on the exhale, bend the elbows. Chest comes towards the back of the chair. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bending. Pushing away. And bending. Two more, push away. 
This is a very nice, gentle way to build arm strength. Push away. And then coming forward. Let's stay in this forward position here a little bit. Feel the feet just kind of pushing into the floor, maybe gripping the floor a little bit. And maybe you want to lift one hand. Maybe you feel steady enough to lift another hand. Ooh, a little bit more going on here than we probably expected. So one more breath. And bring the hands back to the back of the chair, come back up into standing. And then we're gonna step back into down dog again. Let's just take two breaths in down dog. And with the next inhale, we'll step the other foot forward, setting up for your pyramid pose legs here. Make sure the hips are squared. If you feel one's pulling forward, just kind of even it out a little bit. And we're going to bend into the knee and straighten. Just a gentle way of building up the leg strength. You might even feel a little sensation opening here in the back calf. You might be feeling it someplace that I can't even suggest here. So just be self-aware. Let's stay into that bent knee now. Hands can stay on the chair. Maybe one floats up. Maybe they both float up. We feel like we've got some balance going on here today. Check in with the back. Maybe we can straighten the back a little bit more. One more breath. All right, hands come back down to the back of the chair. Front leg goes towards straight, hinge at the hips. Find your pyramid pose. Maybe push the right hip back, pull the left hip forward. Two more breaths. All right, let's bring the hands to the back of the chair. Keep the legs just where they are. We're gonna take those five push-ups again, all right? So inhale, exhale, bend. Inhale, push away. Exhale, bend. Three more. Let's stay with elbows bent on this last one. And this is fine. You can stay just where you're at. You can ground in the feet, maybe pull one hand back. If it feels safe, pull the other hand back. But I'm going to stay with just one. This, this knee has been a little wonky this week, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take care of it. One more breath. And then inhale, push back up. Let's come back in together and just... Shake out the hips, shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. And then we're gonna come back into seated. All right. Finding your seat, grab your strap, grab a drink of water. Very nice. <laughs> All right, we're gonna grab our strap. So there's a couple ways that we can do this. You can hold on to each end of the strap, um, holding it comfortably in your hands. Um, if your hands are like mine, like I'm really dealing with some um, um, inflammation this week that's just just been really wild. I'm looping my strap today just to give my fingers um, a little love. And by doing this, let me move that a little bit so that that hook is in the way. I can just wrap that strap around the ball of my feet and I can... I can just kind of slide my hands into the strap without um, having to put the extra work on my fingers. So let's make sure that that strap is just under the big toes, right there at the ball of the feet. And while I'm holding the strap, I'm gonna push my toes down towards the floor, and then I'm gonna lift. Push the toes down, just flexing the ankle, but offering a little resistance here. which is always um, just nice to get a little bit more strength. So hopefully you can see I'm lifting my toes and just by pulling on these straps, I'm able to strengthen the ankles here a bit. All right, 
Keeping the strap right where it is. Just inhale, lift the foot. Exhale, lower. And you might want to grab now, like it might be easier that way, even just to hold the reins a little bit. It still has the circle going here. We're lifting and lowering nice and gentle. And this time, let's lift the leg up and hold. And now we're probably gonna move the straps into one hand or you can even take it into your arm this way and open it. This is really nice for those cranky hand days. So coming forward, opening out to the side, opening and closing the door. She really like me when I was a kid, my dad would be like, the door's either open or shut, just stop doing this. What he really meant was go outside, shut the door, and they'll come back in, right? Come back in, and let's open it out and hold here. And one more breath. We'll move into a pigeon pose from here, so we can use the strap to bring the ankle to the thigh, to the knee, and then just release the strap a little bit. Gently press the knee down towards the floor. If bringing the ankle all the way to the knee is not in your practice today, <clears throat> you can straighten the leg and place it below the knee. Or you have the option of putting another chair in front of you at, or a footstool or a yoga ball and um, an exercise ball and pressing, resting the foot there. So I always like to do a very gentle knee opening, pressing the knee down. And then this is a good time to do a foot inspection. Um, I am a diabetic, pre-diabetic. I keep going back and forth. So making sure that I don't have any cuts or injuries on my feet that I'm not aware of is smart, especially I'm in Florida. I run around barefoot a lot. I need to stop doing that, but that's all right. And then maybe even sliding the fingers between the toes and just giving yourself a little massage, a little rotation of the ankles. Make sure you go both ways. And from here, we'll sink into our pigeon pose. Nice long spine on the inhale and on the exhale, hinge at the hips, belly coming towards the thighs, leaning forward. Now check in with the jaw. When you bent forward, when you hinged forward, did you, tent, did you tighten the jaw? Did you clench the teeth? Did you pull the shoulders towards the ears? See if you can soften or relax. And we're gonna stay here for a little while, just holding this pose a little bit longer. Two more full cycles of breath, please. Inhale, come back up, and let's release that foot down to the floor, stump it up. We'll take it to the other side. Let's take the strap around the ball of that foot. There we go. And you can, you know, slide the hands in. You can hold the strap, whichever you like. I just like to offer a little resistance here while I point and flex my toes. So if I'm holding, pulling the strap back while I'm trying to push down on the gas pedal, this helps to strengthen my ankle. So if you have a foot or ankle injury, be mindful and just do what you can here. Sometimes we can find workarounds and, and um, alternative variations, modifications, different things to the poses. Um, but if there's an injury, we want to just let it rest and be respectful. So let's lift and lower the foot. Just getting this like walking movement here in the hips. Two more. All right, let's lift it up. And we're gonna open out to the side. So you can hold on one hand, two hands. I'm just opening and closing. I'm just trying to make sure I don't uh, kick my water over here. And let's hold. Another breath. And we'll 
we'll make our way into wherever you're most comfortable in your pigeon pose. And now it can be different from one side or the other. Ooh, just had a big hip pop there. Gently press that knee down to the floor. Inspect the feet. Massage the toes. Make sure maybe slide the fingers between the toes. Get some ankle circles. Give yourself all the little love and attention here. When you're ready, take a big breath, lengthen the spine. And on the exhale, hinge at the hips, coming forward. Now the belly doesn't have to come flat to the legs, that's all right. Feel the breath moving in and out of the back body. Check in with the jaw, check in with the shoulders. We'll stay here for a little while. Two more full breath cycles. And with the next inhale, come back up into an upright seated position. You can set that foot back down, stump it out, hold on to your strap here. All right, let's windshield wipe the, the knees from side to side. Let's take our strap here and you can just hold it the way it is. Take the arms a little bit wider than the shoulders and the hips and we'll inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, lower down. Inhale, reach up. Maybe the hands come a little further back and exhale. Keep doing this a few times. If you want to bring the hands further back, you can. If it's in your practice that you can bring the hands all the way back behind you to open up the chest, that's fine too. Just finding a nice, comfortable. We're just going to do this three more times. One and down. Two and down. Last one like this. Three. Let's take some big circles here. You might even take the knees a little wider and just taking some circles, maybe three in one direction, three in the other. And reverse. We'll walk those feet back in so that they're about hips distance apart. We're going to hold our hands so they're about shoulders distance apart now. Gripping onto the strap, maybe pulling gently. Like we're not trying to rip it apart, but we want um, some tension in the strap. So we're going to lean forward and then row your boat, right? Pull it back. Keep your back straight. Lean back into the chair. You might even feel the heels lift. Forward and back. Row your boat, right? Maybe even your mind singing. Row, row, row your boat. Dun, 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 dun. There's the ear worm you needed today, right? I'm not a great singer. <laughs> Life is not a dream. Do another round of that. Last one, pull it back. All right, let's turn it into a kayak. So we're gonna come down here to the side and down to the other side. So the strap is your kayak paddle, right? So we're just kind of getting a little twist into the ribs, into the back, getting some shoulder and elbow movements. Perfect. <laughs> but a dream. All right, two more times each side. Perfect. 
Perfect. All right, let's let it rest. Actually, you can just set that strap aside, shake out the hands and the wrists and the arms. Maybe make a little movement in the neck here. <sighs> Good job. Take a big breath, reach the arms up. Exhale, float the hands back down. And again, inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, floating back down. Last time, inhale, reaching up. This time on the exhale, lean over to the right. Inhale to center. And lift over, float over to the left. Let's do this a couple more times. You're lifting up and exhale. Lifting up and exhale. One more time each side. Lifting up and down. And down. Let's come all the way over to the right. Let's bring that right hand down either by your side or on your lap, reaching over with the left. And now extend that hand straight up towards the sky. Spread the hands and clench the fist. Open up the hands, spread the fingers, and close the fist. One more time. Reaching up and down. Bring the back of the hand to the back of the head. Take a big inhale. And on the exhale, elbow comes towards the right knee, looking down towards the floor. Inhale, opening. Exhale, twisting down. Inhale, open. And exhale, twist down. Beautiful. Reach that left hand back up. And then as if you're pulling that rope, and bring that hand down. We'll reach the right arm up. Exhale, over towards the left. Now reach the right arm up towards the sky, spread out the fingers and close the fist. Open the hands, close the fist. Open the hands and close the fist. Bring the hand to the back of the head. Inhale, pull that elbow back. Exhale, elbow towards the left knee, looking down towards the floor. Inhale, twisting up. Exhale, down. One more. Inhale, up. And exhale, down, come back up, reach that arm up, and pull yourself up like you're pulling up on a rope, and swing the arms from front to back. So maybe you want to grab a block, or the feet can stay on the floor, whichever you prefer. I'm going to work on a tree pose here, so I'm working on getting my um, foot up a little bit higher, so I'm going to press my left foot into the floor, and bring my right toes to the block. So hopefully you've got a block nearby. If not, we'll just take a little pause so that you have time to grab one. Or if you don't want to use the block, bring the foot into the part of the chair and hold the leg up. I'm using the block today because I just uh, I want to give my I want to give my hips a little bit more support. So press in the left foot into the floor, lengthen the spine, reach the arms up, grow your branches, find your seated tree pose. Now, if your tree wants to blow in the wind, that's fine too. Or you can stay in stillness. Hands can even be at heart center if that's your jam today. Three more breaths. Feel the belly, engaging the core there. And then exhale, release, we'll switch sides. Ground the right foot into the floor, bring the left foot up, reach the arms up, grow your branches, pull the belly in towards the spine, If you want to sway, you always have the option to sway. And then release the arms, release the legs, put the feet down, maybe windshield walker from side to side. So we're going to tap into the vagus nerve here a little bit today, helping to find a way to bring ourselves into our natural state of rest and digest. And I always have to uh, check my surprise every time I say that rest and digest is our natural state. It really is. It just doesn't feel that way most of the time, right? So we're gonna give ourselves a little ear massage. These um, activate the, um, I wanna make sure I use the right words here. I'll make myself little notes so that I can remember. Um, auricular 
vagus nerve, maybe, um, branch of the vagus nerves. It's, it's the nerves that come into the ears. So we're not actually sticking our fingers in our ears. We're going to stick around. So let's um, start just by massaging the outer parts, maybe pulling, tugging, um, twisting the ear a little bit, just feeling, noticing how stiff the ears are. And that we want to loosen it up a little bit here. All right, massaging out the ears. All right, we're going to start with this little canal, not the ear canal, but this like little cave above the ear canal and just bringing your finger in there. And it doesn't need to be hard pressure. We're just trying to move some skin around. That's all we're trying to do here. So just massaging in there in that part of the ear. And you might already start to feel like, oh, that, that really feels good. That's nice. And then moving that finger to just under the upper ridge of the ear. So this big open part of the ear here, massaging that. And again, it doesn't have to be super hard. We're just trying to move skin, but the amount of pressure you want to um, use is completely up to you. And then we're gonna take the finger down to that ear canal. So it's, I've got my AirPod in there. We don't want the finger in the canal. We wanna push it towards the back, which is more towards the head, the skull and massaging out that part of the ear canal and around. Anything that feels safe without sticking anything into the actual ear canal, and massaging it around. So you might already start to feel some warmth in your ear. You feel some increased blood flow here. Um, hopefully that is a pleasant sensation. So massaging around there. And we wanna rush through this. And then start to massage the back of the ear where the ear attaches to the skull. Maybe even massage it really good there around those um, like your lymphatic system there. That's always a plus. Someplace we don't pay extra attention to. Massaging all around there. And then we're gonna go back to the earlobe and really massage out the earlobe. Now you can add as much pressure as you like there. You can pull on them, massage, roll. It's kind of nice to play with it, like twisting the ear sometimes feels good. And then just covering the whole ear a little bit here. And then we'll take it to the other side. Start by massaging, I call it the ear cave. It's, it's a very technical anatomy term. Oh no, first start with uh, pulling and tugging your ear. I got all excited at my, uh, my anatomy vocabulary. <laughs> so just pull and gently tug on the ear, twist, pull it up, pull it out, pull it down. Just waking up the ear here. And now, go into that ear cave, just moving the skin around. Go to that top part of the ear here. You know, it's not in the canal, but just above. above. And then in towards the ear canal, but back towards the skull. And then start to massage the back of the ear. If you've got long nails, be real careful. We don't want to scratch up the ear. Give a little extra tension to the lymph nodes there. And now go back to the earlobe, massage the earlobe, pull and tug, massage, twist, roll. So much love, feels so good. And this is just one way that we can help regulate our nervous system is um, self-massage, self-care is always very 
nice to explore. And this is just a really nice one to really get into um, just a part of the body that we kind of don't get a lot of attention to. When I used to teach in the studio uh, pre-pandemic, when my students went into Shavasana, I always came around and gave them a little, a little earlobe massage. And, you know, oh, everybody would just, you could just see their bodies go, oh, and see the tension release. Let's set ourselves up for our final resting pose. So if you wanna stay in the chair, if you wanna lay on the floor, you wanna put your feet up on the chair, you wanna to move to a bed, a couch, whatever feels good to you, making yourself as comfortable as possible. I'm gonna bring my little blocks here, create a little footstool for myself. You never know how long my legs actually are. I'm pretty short, so. <laughs> Settle in if you want to grab a blanket or an eye pillow or take a drink of water. Just make your way into your most comfortable, seated, reclined, supported, resting pose. When you get there and find yourself settled, start to scan the body from head to toe seeing if there's any places that you might still be holding on to any tension. And doing this slowly as tension begins to feel normal, we don't always recognize when we're holding on to it. If you find any places in your body such as this, imagine sending your breath to that particular body part. Honor any places that might have some pain or limitation or emotional injury. And softening the crown of the head. <clears throat> softening the forehead. Softening the eyebrows and smoothing out the space between the eyebrows. Softening the temples and the cheeks. Allow there to be a space between the top and bottom teeth, softening the jaw. As you inhale, imagine the breath going to the back of the neck. And exhaling, allowing the breath to travel over the shoulders, the biceps, the elbows, and the wrists, the palms and the fingertips, the arms growing heavy. Breathing into the upper back. Allowing the breath to travel down the spine to the tailbone. Softening, releasing, relaxing the muscles in the upper back, the mid back, the low back. Feeling the back muscles relaxing into the surface that is supporting them. Perhaps you feel some warmth growing in the back body. Allow that warmth to travel up to the front body as you breathe into the throat center. Softening the collarbones, the heart center, the rib cage and the abdominal muscles. Feel the rhythm of the breath moving in and out of the body in this moment. Perhaps you visualize maybe laying on the beach so that as you inhale, the waves are rushing up on shore. And as you exhale, the waves are crashing and being pulled back out to sea. It's this nice natural rhythm, inhaling, 
and exhaling the ebb and flow of the ocean. Now breathing in and all around the hip sockets so that as you exhale, you're softening the hips, softening the glutes, softening down to the knees, then both ankles, the tops and bottoms of the feet, and each and every toe. Setting softness and relaxation throughout the legs, feeling them grow heavy as they sink into the surface that is supporting them. Releasing yourself into this pose so that at any time your mind starts to wander, perhaps coming back to this breath connection with the ocean, the visualization of the waves crashing in and out. And releasing yourself into this pose, receiving the flow of this moment. Again, bringing your attention back into the room with deeper, fuller breath. And as you're ready, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Making movement in the wrists and the ankles. Slowly turn your head from one side and then the other. And then find bigger movements that fit into your body right now in this moment. Stretching, twisting, knees to chest, folding, windshield wipers, whatever serves you best. If you're lying on the floor, on a bed, make your way to one side or the other, cradling your head in the crook of your arms. If you're seated in the chair, maybe make the spine a little bit longer, a little bit of a back bend. Taking a moment here, everyone, to just reconnect with your intention or dedication that you may have said at the beginning of class. And perhaps you can carry this off the mat and into the world with you throughout the rest of the day or week. If you're seated on the floor, 
Bring yourself back up to any comfortable seated position, whether it's staying on the floor, or moving to a chair. In the chair, maybe we scooch up just a little bit more, a little bit more tension. Let's close our practice with a shared breath and maybe even an ohm today. If oming's not in your practice, you can just sit quietly, you can pray, um, you can hum, whatever works for you. Let's take a big inhale, reach the arms up overhead or gaze to our palms as we bring them together. And on the exhale, release the hands to the heart center, eyes closed, head slightly bowed. Taking an inhale for the ohm. Oh. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be free. And may we all live in peace. Mm, thank you, thank you, thank you so much. As always, I appreciate the patience and understanding with me. I'm gonna get this together. <laughs> I don't, I just, I can hook up the Zoom on my phone in that space um, and work off of data, but I, I haven't been able to really record successfully. The last time I did give you a recording from my laptop that I was able to do, I didn't think it was great. And the last one, it won't even, it just won't even hook up. So I'm gonna keep working on it. I never thought it was gonna be that complicated to record a Zoom class, so I'm sorry, but I got you. I promise you eight classes and you will get eight classes, eight recordings, and they're just for you. Um, even though they're on the YouTube, they're not for the public, they're only yours. All right, all right. Hope that serves you well. If you need anything from me, always reach out and let me know. Have a great day and I'll see you again. Bye.